Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the skincare brand Ghost Democracy. I want to start this video off by giving you guys a little tiny taste of what this video is going to be. So Ghost Democracy is a relatively new brand with a relatively small selection, but oh my gosh, this is a brand absolutely after my own heart. First off, this is a brand that is very affordable in terms of pricing, which you know is important to me. This is a brand that focuses on clean, but doesn't stop with the exclusion of ingredients. I know I've said this so many times on this channel, but it is so important for me for a clean brand not to just stop with telling us what's not in the products. Cause that's great if you don't include 1500 potentially concerning ingredients, but what if your product is nothing more than water and some flour? Great. So beyond that, Ghost Democracy focuses on full transparency, hence the ghost, get it? full transparency of what is in those products down to the percentage listed on the front of every product. And I love that so dearly. And so you guys know the list of exclusions, no sulfates, no silicones, completely silicone free brand, no drying alcohols, no essential oils, no fragrance whatsoever, neither natural nor synthetic, no parabens, no phthalates, no synthetic dyes, no propylene glycol, no formaldehyde, no MEA, DEA, TA, no PEG compounds, and no EDTA. And yet crammed with active ingredients. Now, this video is a three week trial. I am coming to you completely barefaced today. And if you are subscribed to this channel, then you know my reasoning for doing this. In the event that you are new to this channel, I will start off this video by sharing with you my experience using these products, and then I will have individual reviews that you can jump to of just one product. You can jump to a timestamp in the description box below, or you can find it in the chapters that we now have on YouTube. But let's go ahead and start with me talking about my experience. So of course I'm coming to you guys barefaced today, which feels like such a miracle. This is a three week trial only because I made such an absolute blunder. If you're a subscriber, you know exactly what I did. I used a cleansing balm that I thought would cause absolutely no problems whatsoever, and it absolutely wreaked havoc on my face. So much so that one week ago, I, I do have pictures that I don't want to share because of how much I look like I'm about to cry. I may have cried, but needless to say, one week ago to this day, this face was covered with pimples and I knew it wasn't these products. So I had to kind of stop everything and say, okay, what product do we pull? Which product is causing the problem? Accepted that it was that cleansing balm, kept going with these products and we are right back to where I was before. I can't even put into words how devastating it is when you've pretty much solved your acne problem to see it just come back full strength. I mean, you guys seriously, my mood last week was not, it was not good. Acne is so, it's devastating. However, these products plus a good recovery routine, which I'm probably going to share with you guys, I think that could be a very helpful video. That got me back and I, I'm, I look like this today. I'm so happy. Now I wanna cry happy tears. And in full disclosure, these products were so kindly gifted to me by Ghost Democracy. So I had found them on Instagram way before they reached out to me and I already knew that this was a brand that I wanted to try. I am so grateful, especially in this year with everything going on to have had this brand reach out to me. Just so you guys know, I cannot make any money off of links or codes, but I did make a referral. So if you click the 15% off discount that you get below, then I get a coupon on the website. And I have to admit, I think that if a company really believes in their products, I think a referral link can in some ways be even better than an affiliate. And what they sent over to me is the starter kit. This is a kit that you can get on their website for a discount. This is $66 with an $86 value. It includes their cleanser, their serum, and their moisturizer. To be honest with you, I think this is a fantastic starter routine and exactly what I would pick for a starter routine. There are a few more things in addition to everything I've already said so far about this brand that I want you to know. So first off, this is a cruelty-free brand. This is a vegan brand and all of their products are made and manufactured 
in the USA. Now, in spite of that long exclusions list, I do want to make sure you know that that doesn't necessarily negate the possibility for an allergic reaction. So there still are some ingredients that are plant-based in their ingredients list. There are still some extracts. It is still possible to have an allergy to hyaluronic acid or any of the common ingredients. However, as I'm sure you guys know by now, I do very much believe that removing the fragrance, removing the essential oils is tremendously helpful for reducing that risk. The bottom line for me with this brand is I think if skincare ingredients matter to you, if you need to know what is in your skincare, if you're a little bit of a skincare nerd like myself and proudly, listen, I am a proud skincare nerd and a Hufflepuff, but anyway, yes, if that matters to you, I think you will absolutely love this brand. So let's go ahead and get into the individual product reviews. What I'm going to do is take you guys through the skincare routine that I've been following. So we will start with the Transparent Gentle Exfoliating Daily Cleanser. Now this is made with 4.1% glycolic, 1.8% mandelic, 1.6% willow bark, and 1.3% niacinamide. Something else I really appreciate about this brand, if I haven't already said enough, is that on the back of the box, they actually tell you a short description of every one of those ingredients, furthering your knowledge about what you're using. So 4.1% glycolic, a safer skin AHA that gently exfoliates and brightens for the appearance of smoother skin texture. A couple of notes with this. So I do believe that active ingredients and cleanser can be effective, but I think a lot of the issue with them is you have to see how a person is using that cleanser. You know, if you're just putting a cleanser on your skin and then washing it off five seconds later, you're probably not getting a lot of benefits from those ingredients. On the other hand, if you are using your cleanser for a full 60 seconds, you should see some benefits. Now, all that said, because I'm sensitive to AHAs, I did only use this about two to three times a week. Now, this is all personal preference, what active you use, etc. But for me, that works best, and I completely understand that some people are able to use AHAs daily, just not optimal for my skin. Real live and learn situation, by the way. 1.8% mandelic, this lesser known AHA, is paired to balance the glycolic acid due to its higher molecular weight, partnering to accelerate cell turnover, refining the appearance of uneven skin texture and help brighten with less irritation. 1.6% willow bark, so a natural extract with keratolytic properties which helps break down dead skin cells and dissolve pore clogging impurities. Now I've heard a lot of debate about white willow bark and what I wanna say is it is not the same as salicylic, but don't think that it is a useless ingredient. I sometimes see people say, oh, that's completely useless, and I just do not believe that. With willow bark in particular, what stands out to me is I see the anti-inflammatory actions very, very quickly. And since I do have acne prone skin, you know, my pimples usually have this red ring of inflammation around it. So I'm a perfect candidate for loving anti-inflammatory ingredients. And then 1.3% niacinamide, also known as vitamin B3. This is a highly effective ingredient to help strengthen the skin's natural moisture barrier, soothe skin and minimize appearance of pores. Next up, we have the Floodgate Hyaluronic Acid Serum. First off, I gotta tell you guys that I was kind of like, oh, a hyaluronic acid serum. Never seen that before. But I eat my words because this is an incredible, incredibly formulated hyaluronic serum. Let's just look at the back of this box. So 2.1% pure hyaluronic acid, low, medium, and high weight. So by having those three different weights of hyaluronic acid in a product, you send it to basically different levels of the skin. Again, HA is everywhere, but to see it 2.1% and to see it in not too slimy of a texture is amazing. Now all hyaluronic acid, if it is at a high enough percentage, will have a little bit of kind of viscosity to it, which is a really good way of knowing that if a hyaluronic acid product does not have that, it is probably not too high in hyaluronic acid. So again, you know, appreciate so much knowing exactly how much is in here. 4% niacinamide, what a great level to aim for, not overkill, which I'm seeing a lot of with niacinamide. 
also known as vitamin B3. This is a, oh, we already read this description. We don't have to read it again. Yes, 4% in a serum is absolutely what I think is ideal. And when I use niacinamide consistently, I do see a reduction in the appearance of pores. I do see a smoothness to my skin. I absolutely love niacinamide, even though, again, I know it's everywhere. I think it is a great ingredient. 1.6% linden flower extract. This natural extract is known for its anti-inflammatory and water binding properties, which help refresh and smooth the skin. And then 1.3% white tea leaf extract. Packed with antioxidants, this natural extract is known to help reduce oxidative stress and may protect skin. So I gotta just say this, I feel like this product is, is a, a real contender for beating out my past favorite HA serum, which would have to be the peach and lily because I actually think it's, I think it's more active. I think it's more active in its mechanisms and you don't need much because it's such a thick product. It's such a hit, it's such a hit for me. And the very last product is the Clean Lightweight Daily Face Moisturizer. So this contains 12% probiotics. Okay, who, what channel on YouTube has been raving about probiotics for a long time now? Hmm. <laughs> I'm such a dork. I'm such a dork. Oh my god. Okay. 1% niacinamide, 1% oat seed extract, and 0.5% vitamin B5. So let's see what they say about probiotics. Uniquely helpful, good bacteria. Think kombucha, kefir, miso. They contribute to balancing the skin's microbiome to help hydrate and soothe skin. 12% probiotics is it's unheard of. It is an incredibly high amount to put into a product. And yet, yes, you will get a lot of benefits from using probiotics, even if the product does contain the preservatives that would kill the bacteria. Please know that you still do get the benefits from the bacteria being in there. But I feel like this is the biggest potential con I could point out in this video. And it's so minor in the grand scheme of things, but I try really hard to give you guys a very accurate portrayal of the product. So I want you to know that this product in particular does have a little bit of a slimy feel. At least some of you are going, of course it does because it's high in probiotics. I, I know about, what's that? What's the uh, fermented soybeans? Natto? Oh, natto is so delicious. But yeah, that texture, I can, I, yeah, I understand why some people don't enjoy it. But yes, probiotic products are often kind of slimy and it's because of that good bacteria. And because it's a completely silicone free product, you will really feel that. However, it is not unpleasant on the skin at all in my experience, but take this with a grain of salt because I love snail. I think, here's, here's what I ultimately think. I think if snail products are wonderful for you, you love them, you are, you're not even gonna notice that with this. On the other hand, if you're somebody who says, whoa, I cannot do the texture of snail, you might notice it. I feel like that really is the biggest trade-off with having really potent skincare. If it's really potent and it's full of active ingredients, it's probably not going to be as cosmetically elegant as something that is not full of actives. Actives often don't smell great. They often have different textures to them, but I, I, I tell you wholeheartedly, I am a firm believer in going full strength with actives if you can. I did want to end this video with really quickly touching on the samples. Normally I don't do reviews of sample packets because, you know, I got two to three uses from these, but I just really quickly want to mention them, especially the light bulb vitamin C serum, since I saw a lot of interest in this. This is a 18% THD ascorbate vitamin C serum. THD ascorbate is a lot easier to work with than LAA. You're not going to have that stinging effect from a low pH. And this one probably has the shortest ingredients list. So I, I really feel like this will probably be a product that works for almost everybody. So even if the cleanser or the moisturizer have too many plant-based ingredients, this one is probably gonna work for almost everybody. Gorgeous texture on this. It actually reminded me a lot of the Biosance vitamin C, except it's half the price. And last but certainly not least, we have the Boomerang Firming Eye Concentrate. This is a beautiful texture. They managed to walk that fine line between going too light in an eye cream and going too heavy. It's, it's perfectly in the middle, absolutely jam-packed with antioxidant-rich ingredients. Really nice eye cream. 
And that is it. That is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your feedback in my last video where some of you shared the products that you've been loving from this brand. Please continue to share feedback in the comment section on this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you all next time.